Hi friends, this is Pastor Keith here. Very excited to be doing Godly Play again with you this week. We'll start off with a song that I know that a lot of you probably know, because if you're in choir with me, I know that you know it. And it's called For the Beauty of the Earth. Let's sing together. <laughs> So our story today is called The Road to Emmaus, and I'll start out by rolling this out. So I don't know if you know this, but even though Easter was a few weeks ago, it's still actually Easter. Easter is a season that lasts for quite some time, all the way until Pentecost. So even though we have one day we call Easter, we're in the season of Easter too. So we continue to tell stories about Easter, and this is one of them. So this is a road here, and over here we have Jerusalem, and over here we have a town called Emmaus. And it's about seven miles from Jerusalem to Emmaus. And if you remember, before Easter, Jesus died, and he died on a cross. And after he died, they put him in a tomb, or they put his body in a tomb. And then on the third day, the day we celebrate as Easter, the women went to the tomb and they found that there was nothing there. And an angel told them that Jesus had risen. Well, later that day, there were two friends of Jesus. And they were walking from Jerusalem to Emmaus. And they were very sad that Jesus had died. They thought that he was the Messiah. They thought that he would be king, but then he died, and then they didn't think that anymore. So they're walking along together, and they're talking about why did Jesus have to die? Why did things happen this way? And then a third person came beside them, and it was Jesus, but they didn't know that it was Jesus. They thought it was a stranger. And they were continued to talk about Jesus's death. But then Jesus asked them what they were talking about. And they said, are you the only person who doesn't know what's been going on? There's this man named Jesus who was a prophet. And we thought he was going to be king, but then he died. And it doesn't make any sense to us. But then Jesus began to explain everything to them. He explained everything from the scriptures, why Jesus had to die, how everything was foretold in the scriptures, and how God loves us and we can see God's love in Jesus. But the friends of Jesus still didn't know that the new man was Jesus. But then when they finally reached Emmaus, it looked like the third man was going to keep on walking. So 
it was getting late and the two men who started the walk asked the third man if he would come in. So he came inside and he ate with them. And then Jesus gave thanks like he always did and he broke bread like he always did. And he gave it to his friends like he always did. And their eyes were opened and they realized that the man they had been walking with all along was Jesus. And they were very excited. So they ran back all the way to Jerusalem to tell their friends who missed Jesus that everything the women had said was true. Jesus had come back from the dead and God had brought him back to life. I wonder how the two men felt when they were walking alone on the road and they, they were probably sad and scared. I wonder how they felt when they had a new friend to walk with them. I wonder how Jesus felt when they were talking about him but didn't believe all the stuff that he had said. I wonder how the men felt when they went to the table with Jesus and their eyes were opened and he shared bread with them the way he always had. I wonder how they felt when they were running back. I wonder how their friends felt when they heard the good news that Jesus is risen indeed. I wonder if their friends believed them. I wonder if their legs were tired from all of their running and walking. I wonder if Jesus showed up and shared meals with anybody else. I wonder how Jesus felt when the men recognized him. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me today, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this as much as I did. I look forward to seeing you all again in this form and especially whenever we get to see each other again in real life. So have a great day.